Hello all, I'm glad that you're here. In this video, we are going to do some closet decluttering. I have been putting off these closets for the last two years. The two years that we've lived in this house, I've for sure been putting them off. When we first moved in, we just kind of started piling stuff into these closets, hanging stuff up and just shoving things onto shelves. And it just doesn't make any sense. Things are not organized. They're not in an efficient place to access them. So I have finally buckled down and cleared everything out of these closets and just took the time to relocate some items. Now, when I'm moving these items and these objects, I'm really just putting them either at the base of the stairs leading up to our bedrooms because maybe the thing needs to go upstairs into a different closet or I'm putting them at the basement stairs or I'm putting them on the side door because it needs to go out to the bin. I did not buy new storage solutions for this video. Everything that I used I already had. Either I just freed them up because I got rid of stuff or I freed them up because it would make more sense for it to organize something else. I do have plans to buy storage solution items in the future, but I wanted to get everything to where I wanted it before I made the decision on what kind of storage solution would best makes sense for the space. These green shelves are an example of repurposing an old storage item for a new purpose. I have had these shelves since college that's been kicking around. It's had a bunch of random stuff in it. I finally went through, got rid of a bunch of the random stuff. It was mostly junk. I don't even know why I had half the stuff that I did in these drawers, but I got rid of it to make Owen a craft space. My future dream for our sitting room is to have built-in drawers and built-in cabinets. And in those cabinets, I want to keep things like art supplies for the kids. So this is kind of that segue into that life when we eventually get around to building those built-ins. So when I started this closet project, my mom was here to watch Owen and now she's not here. So I've been trying to like work around his schedule and then also get everything else done that I need to get done. So now we're just gonna power through. We are gonna clear this closet. And I'm gonna use clear very loosely. I'm not into a big deep clean deep clutter for this closet. Lost that motivation. It's gone, it happens. So we're just gonna kind of make do and then we'll look at both of the closets and we'll have a little chit chat at the end. Okay, let's do the rest of this closet, okay. So what you're gonna do is you are going to pretend that everything I took out of these closets has in fact made it to a trash can, a donation pile, they've been stored away, and they're definitely not sitting on the floor in different spots ready to go up or downstairs. We're gonna assume that, okay? So one really fun thing about all of the closets in this house is that they have a light, but none of them work. And I don't know if whoever like installed them just did not do a very good job or what, but, doesn't matter. 
doesn't work. So what we have here, this is our sitting room closet. And again, nothing is sitting out. We're ready to go to a dumpster, I promise. So one big thing about this closet that I was having trouble with is that this is where we store our vacuum cleaner. And I would love for the wall attachment to be on the wall and to actually hang my vacuum cleaner there. But before I had so many coats and the backpacks were hanging there that it it was like trying to dig through a little jungle, trying to get to the vacuum cleaner. So I have kept it to these two sections. This is where the coat stops. So that way I can access easily into here. I have hung the backpacks up on this lower hanging rack. These are the leaves for my table to make it longer. Vacuum. I want to get a little basket for my vacuum attachment. This is right now just a little game basket. This is a game shelf. Here's a DVD shelf. And then up there is bottle feeding equipment. There's a sanitizer that may or may not need to be replaced and breast pump and bottles. Now, as I said, the jackets are only allowed to hang this far. These are like party things like plastic plates, cups, platters, baskets, stuff like that. These are like to-go things, paper bags, to-go cups. This is a giant parachute, like one of those gigantic colorful parachutes. I think this, a school that I was working at once was getting rid of it and I took it and I don't remember taking it, but I guess I did. Now it's up there. So one day when my kids are old enough to use a parachute with a bunch of their friends, uh, I've got one, I'm ready. And down here I've stored my yoga basket and now I've designated this little crate to just storage toys for now. Things that can come back out into rotation with Owen's toys, but just somewhere to kind of catch them for now. More toys that Owen doesn't need right the second. And then in here is all kinds of craft supplies. I've had this shelf for forever and I'm finally using it for something useful. So there's that closet. It's much better. Main function, getting the vacuum without getting tangled up. Secondary benefit. I've taken some stuff out off the shelves. This is our little electric vacuum. It needs fixing. It needs a little TLC. This is where a whole bunch of bins would come in handy, but I'm not gonna go out and buy bins for this video. I'm just gonna struggle like this until one day I snap and finally buy bins. That has all kinds of manuals, because Dave hates to throw away manuals, so I got a box again. When I am done looking at this, I will find some kind of bin or binder system to put those in. These are our everyday coats. So we're gonna start, once the weather gets colder, we're gonna get rid of like the lighter, once, so they'll switch closets. So our heavier coats are currently in the sitting room. So we'll put our heavy coats in here and our lighter coats in there, and then we'll just flip, flop them. So this is a shelf I'm gonna dedicate to babies and toddlers and going out. I think I might keep wipes and diapers on this shelf, like as a backup for downstairs. This is still a hat shelf. Didn't really do much to that. This is a dog bin. This is all of Mala's stuff, odds and end bits. And now I have a completely empty shelf, which is great. And then I did not like the shoe rack that was in here, so I got rid of that. And there's some boots, and then these are baby shoes or kid shoes that Owen has outgrown, but I'm gonna save them for our next babe. And then of course we have to keep the dog food in here or else Owen would play in it. So that's what we got going on. Did we do a complete Pinterest makeover of our closets? No, we didn't because we live regular life on a regular budget in this house and we only have so much motivation to get anything done. <laughs> so we're gonna ride the wave and then when it crashes into shore, we're gonna call it a day. So we've crashed into shore and that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.
If you made it to the end, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free. There's another video for you right there if you need more. And don't forget to check out my podcast, Case of the Mom Days, found wherever you get your podcasts.